Hey everybody, my name is Alex Chacon. I'm currently in one of my favorite places in this entire world, the Grand Canyon in the United States. And today, I'm gonna to show you why this place is so magical. The Grand Canyon is located in the state of Arizona in the United States. For the last 70 million years, the canyon has been in the process of creation. Today, it is 277 miles long, up to 18 miles wide, and has a depth of over 6,000 feet. So certainly the best thing about being out here is just the feeling of the energy. It's the fresh air and it's the best view ever. For thousands of years, Native Americans have called this majestic area home. The Hopi tribe considered the canyon a gateway to the afterlife and the Pueblo people considered it a holy site. Despite your beliefs, when you stand on the edge, you'll most certainly feel the energy and spirit of the area. So the only unfortunate part about the Grand Canyon is that it's very popular, so sometimes you get lying just to take pictures, and in the summer, it is the worst. The canyon receives more than 6 million visitors annually. It's the Disney World of national parks. This is why at the top of the park, you'll see hordes of people taking the same pictures in the same location, standing in line and walking the same paths. Here's the number one secret for the Grand Canyon is do not follow the massive crowds. They don't always know the best spots. What I do is that if you go down a little bit on the ridge, there's some really great outlook points as you see over there. So a little bit of courage and hiking can make your picture from good to absolutely extraordinary. What's unique about this national park is that you can easily step off the main tourist trail, get away from the crowds, and find your own untouched piece of land or edge of a cliff to enjoy all to yourself for a private viewing, picture, and epic experience. One of the best things about the Grand Canyon is so vast and large, you can go anywhere and not find a single soul. Currently, I'm actually with a bunch of people here behind me, but that's just the sacrifice of getting it to it easy. Now you can hike all the way down here and there's a lot of trails where you can be completely in solitude. For a unique off the beam path adventure, you can take a rafting trip for four to 20 days along the river or jump on a donkey and make your way down to the bottom to the village located inside the canyon called Supai, which is the only place in the United States where mail is still carried out by mules. This is why it's one of my favorite places in the entire world. You can't get this anywhere else. So there's a lot of canyons around the world that are bigger than the Grand Canyon. But what's special about this is just the color and the vastness of it. Fewer people have successfully completed a continuous lengthwise hike through the Grand Canyon than have walked on the moon. Despite its popularity, there is certainly an enchanting and challenging aspect about a visit to one of the seven natural wonders of the world and should certainly be at the top of your travel bucket list. So that was the glorious Grand Canyon. Thanks for joining me, see you next time. So this is the problem with finding a good photo spot is that once somebody sees you, then everybody starts joining you. So why the Grand Canyon? Because you can sit down here and just have a moment to yourself. You can feel the air, you can breathe, but it gives you a moment of space and tranquility and a naturesque, and a picturesque nature, uh, and a picturesque nature view. I can speak English. Sure, there's canyons around the world that are greater and bigger, but this for me is the most iconic and colorful of the canyons of the world.